Hi guys, today I would like to share with you the way I rig guys. Okay, so if you want to see how this controller actually moves the ice, you can stay tuned. I will make them from scratch. Okay, so I have two bones to control ice. First, uh, this one's just uh, control the, the direction where the character is looking. And the another bone is for blinking. Okay, so just scaling on Y axis we can make it blink and moving up and down we can actually change the curve direction I sometimes use this for happy uh, closing guys uh, or laughing sometimes it looks very cute also this way just makes it ordinary blink okay so you may notice that the this shine this light moves also the eyelids are moving a little bit s slowly a little bit less than purple but it actually looks very amazing it gives a 3d spherical shape like so it, it works for an eye also you can see that iris is actually moving a little bit more than the edge ring of the pupil so stay tuned you will see now how we can achieve it okay I prepared another project with uh, cleaned uh, you know, with cleaned uh, rig so we can make it from scratch first let's show you what images we will be working with and okay, here mm. When you start, make sure your artist provides uh, the top eyelid uh, already closed. This way you can make sure that you will preserve uh, some details. Because when you stretch from smaller image, of course you will have less detail and some stretchy or broken triangles or whatever. So, better to keep uh, this to have this closed and later after rig just open it okay so let's start from blinking i will add two bones inside of the root eye bone one for uh, blinking of the top eyelid and then another one for bottom eyelid okay on the edges so we control them better way okay let's uh, bind these meshes will be bound to the this bone and the root bone and the bottom eyelid to again root bone and the bottom uh, controller so now we just need uh, so, so now we just need uh, to make adjustments on weights just select this uh, add tool here it will uh, allow you to adjust weights on multiple points in a smoothly way so you, you can work with, I don't know if you are familiar with this but I'm not going to go deep in, into details on how it works but again you just select uh, this bone and uh, it, it works like a brush so you just make sure the the middle point is a hundred percent controlled by that bone and uh, you just smoothly go all over the eye also paying attention that uh, edges are not getting much uh, weights on controller so as naturally they don't move when you blink or move with your eyelashes okay so let's uh, let's try them let's make this bone Let's assume this is open state and this is closed. So in open state, you can see that it's a little bit boxy. Let's uh, adjust it. I'm not going to make it perfect, but you can take your time and adjust every point as you wish to give it a very nice curve. I, uh, I would like to say one thing uh, when you doing 
this adjustment. Again, make sure that uh, the edges are not weighted too much, very little or, or nothing. And uh, the next, mm, make sure you give also a 3D effect for these eyelash, uh, eyelids because they are uh, they have thickness. So better if you uh, consider also that. So let's also make this. I will show it right on this bottom lid because it has a very nice th thickness and I hope I can demonstrate it you here okay let's see how it works in action mm. so to give a 3d look uh, you can consider that this part is this uh, part is that uh, thickness of the eyelid and when it closes this uh, gets sh sh shortened because per because of perspective so you can make it actually feel that it is shortened by just adjusting weight I think that's enough. Okay, so let's let's see it in action. Uh, let's remove this animation, and so you can see that this uh, bright part, the thickness of the eyelid, is getting shortened when it gets closed. So this is very small detail, but it 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 gives. Uh, Combined, these effects give much more nice effect. Okay, so let's see what we have. We can open them and uh, proceed to the eye uh, pupil. For that, I will create one bone in the root. Uh, this will be the. This will have I key on it. I think better to see it in action than I explain it to you. So we create one bone here and make it uh, I key constraint. Uh, we also select the compre compress option so it, it gets compressed when we move the I key controller, but it, it doesn't uh, stretch when we move out of the range the controller. So this this works well when we now add another bone here in the middle on this bone child of this bone so this way you can see that it gets uh, moved uh, when the parent is scaled and it, now it, it can actually work as a pupil so let's move this pupil inside of that bone Okay, we, we have it uh, working, like mechanically it works now. The last thing, we just need to just uh, disable the in inheriting of the scale and rotation. So I think it works very final. You can see that it gets uh, outside of the boundaries two things you can do here, just uh, mask it out using clipping of the spine here, this option, this feature or the other thing you just uh, move it uh, the max distance and adjust the, this is how I did actually it, it looked good and didn't uh, require like additional clipping so you can adjust the date and see if that's enough. If you want it to move farther here, you will need a clipping, I believe, because it, it moves in a cyclic way. So I, I don't know if there is a way to move it in an ellip elliptical trail. However, 
that's I think it's enough for current effect. Okay, so we have uh, eyeball, we have this uh, closing eye eyelids. Uh, next thing is just to bind this bone. Okay, so just bind this uh, mesh to this bone and the root bone. Uh, this way we can add a nice detail of this iris moving a little bit uh, farther than the edge ring. Okay, so let's make it 100% of weights for the root bone and start adding uh, the weight for this iris. Bone. Okay, so I think for edges this value is enough, but for the middle ring we will need 100%. Okay, let's see how it works. Uh, okay. We can a little bit increase this edge, so just to give uh, it more visual effect, you, you may adjust as you like for your own uh, current project okay so we have this part and same way we also will uh, we can bind this um, light to root bone and that uh, con moving bone the pupil bone just uh, giving it a uh, full root control and a little bit of that I think will will give us nice effect you can see it moving okay so now we just need to add controls uh, transform constraints for these uh, eyelids um, on this top I think 30 percent will be enough and bottom Okay, you can see that those bones are following actually the, this middle bone, the, the one who carries actually the eye uh, pupil. Okay, so the next thing is again, we can also make the same way, just bind this to the root bone and again do that central bone. I, I believe it won't give much effect, but it's it's not uh, so long, so I will make it quick. Let's see what we get here. Okay, you can see also the white part is moving. Uh, I suggest you just playing with it uh, and seeing what what works good for you. Um, it depends on art also. Maybe some uh, here it looks fine, but with more detailed eyeballs, it 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 looks not convincing. So let's uh, add final bone here. This one bone will control the. Uh, the blinking. We just add these two bones uh, as a child on this new bone and uh, disable this uh, uh, disable scaling inheritance for these two bones. So when we scale the parent bone to make them closer they don't get stretched. Okay and rotation. Okay. Okay, so um, this seems covers all aspect that I did uh, in previous projects. Uh, let me try also moving it. Yes, it works fine. So I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any uh, aspects you need to know how to do it, I might already had experience in that area, I, I would be happy to make experiments and share some rigging techniques that I can find useful. 
Okay, see you next time, guys. Bye.